So last year in March I made a video where I built a double neck guitar from two cheap three quarter size acoustic guitars. Since then I've been getting a lot of comments and some are quite funny. I'll just read some out to you. Julian G said, this video gave me cancer. I mean, that's just a horrible thing to say. Um, you're an arsehole. That wasn't a comment. That's just what I think of that person. You tune them like your ass, dude. <laughs> this shit hurts my feelings. Oh god. This is stupid. Um, guitar centipede. Uh, what else is there? I'm disgusted but curious. Anyway, some of these comments are priceless and I'll provide a link to that video if you fancy a laugh. It seems there's a lot of people out there who get really easily annoyed by the slightest notion that someone might do something other than play Stairways to Heaven on a guitar. I mean, I guess I understand, it's like using a chisel to open a tin of paint, but you have good chisels and you have rubbish ones. You have special ones that you keep for yourself and you have sacrificial ones that you lend to your mates. So, unless you're devoid of any sense, you'd assume I'm not using a priceless instrument. So all that attention to guitars reminded me of something I tried to do in 2012 and never quite managed, and I wanted to have another go at it. So I tried to make a smoke cannon guitar, and I'll provide a link to that. In fact, all the recommended videos in the information card will be guitar related. There's a lot of backstory to tell. Sometimes you start something and then you put it down and then several years pass by and you realise that you never finished the thing you were trying to make. If I just made a smoke cannon guitar you'd probably think it was a little odd, you'd probably hate it, you'd probably press the thumb down button like everyone did on the thunder guitar video. Man that was a lot of hate, that took me weeks of counselling to get over. Anyway since the original smoke cannon guitar I had stopped smoking cigarettes, so don't be surprised if you do watch that video and see me blowing smoke into the body of a guitar. In this video I'm going to use a smoke machine which is connected to the guitar by an adapter that I drilled out, and that adapter will be connected to the guitar with some tubing. The piece of birch ply was an offcut from an adapter I'd made for the CNC machine to fit a smaller router onto the spindle mount. As I said, there is a backstory and it's just very complicated. The flexible material I made the ring out of is called skin ply. Please don't ask me where I bought it from. It's a bit of scrap that's been in the workshop for years. Most of it's got some kind of mold damage on it. It's very flexible. It's about a couple mil thick. So anyway, you're probably thinking, did this work? Should I skip to the bit at the end? Why is he talking so much? Just describe what happens in the video, dude. Don't talk to YouTube like it's your friend. The rings are quite pleasant to watch, probably more pleasant than anything I could play. So this is the part of the video where you pat me on the back and write something mildly offensive in the comments section. 